Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. In our top story, sponsored by Carnegie Heights, investigators are looking into what caused a massive apartment fire that left one dead and four others injured. One resident describing the flames rising into the sky as, quote, tremendous. Review Journal's James Schaefer has the details. According to fire officials, at 10.51 a.m., a fire was reported at Twain Estates apartment complex. This, along with reports of four injuries and one person who died in the fire. Residents at the scene told us their story of confusion before realizing a building in their complex was filling up with smoke. And my neighbor knocked on the door and said, oh my God, we gotta go, there's a fire. And that, that scared me terribly. I looked and there was a tremendous fire on this building. A fella just talked to a fella and he got his kids out of the apartment of a smoking building and I'm so glad that he made it. As of Tuesday afternoon, investigators are still working to determine the cause of the fire. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. Thanks, James. Over at the state capitol, a Democratic lawmaker is proposing a bill that would make Nevada the first state where drivers become organ donors by default. Applicants for driver's licenses would have to opt out of organ donation, similar to many European countries. Senator James Orenshaw presented the bill, calling it life-saving. However, critics are asking whether this system would be effective in solving our state's lack of organ donations. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Las Vegas Motor Speedway. It's our top trending story on LVRJ.com. A Las Vegas couple suing the show Property Brothers. Back in 2019, newlyweds Mindy and Paul King were featured on that hit show. They filed a lawsuit against the producers of the show, not the Property Brothers themselves, and the local construction company. Uh, which performed the work, but later they discovered that there were several problems, uh, including sagging doors, electrical code violations, some shoddy grout work. Thanks, David. The Nevada State Contractors Board has already acknowledged the defects and say the Kings refused the contractor, Villa Construction, to make those repairs. For more on the story, go to LVRJ.com. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental, love your smile again. Over in D.C., the House plans to pass the $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill this Wednesday, sending it straight to President Biden. This includes the $4.1 billion for Nevada. Review Journal's Renee Semmerauer has more. Renee. Jen, according to officials included in the Nevada's $4.1 billion share of the bill is $2.9 billion for the state government, $439 million for Clark County and $130 million for Las Vegas. The Clark County School District will see roughly $880 million and $171 million was tucked into the initial house bill for McCarran International Airport. Communities that have been hurt, they, they're going to be able to qualify for more money and grants. That money was actually put into the House bill uh, on an effort that was led by Representative Dina Titus. The one Republican in our delegation, Mark Amaday, he's probably gonna vote against this bill tomorrow. Like, like many Republicans, that there's too many items in the bill that he doesn't think are necessary. For more on this story, log on to LVRJ.com. And it looks like that wind isn't letting up in your weather, sponsored by Las Vegas Pyatt Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. We're looking at strong winds going late into tonight, gusts hitting around 30 miles per hour. We might even get a little rain tomorrow morning. Temps are getting down to the mid 50s and we'll stay there until this weekend. We can expect clouds as well. There's also a chance of rain Thursday and Friday, but it is just a slight chance. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Las Vegas is planning a massive plan to promote special events here in the Valley. Those include Life is Beautiful, the Downtown Rocks Concert, the U.S. Bowling Congress Open Championships, and the Professional Bull Riders Premier Series and Championships. Review Journal's Richard Villada told us earlier that the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority is investing $3.5 million for the future. Most of LVCVA's money comes from the uh, room tax. So 
as you can probably well imagine, right now that's in pretty dire straits. But they do have enough uh, in the uh, in the budget to sponsor these uh, three point five million dollars worth of, pro of of programs that are coming up, special events. For more on this story, head to lvrj.com. Sports, sponsored by Scenic Brewing Company. With the sports update, I'm Cassie Soto. Tuesday was a busy day for the Raiders, starting with the trade of right tackle Trent Brown. He heads to New England along with a 2022 seventh round pick. In return, the Raiders get a 2022 fifth round pick. The Raiders also released guard Richie Incognito and defensive back LaMarcus Joyner. And wrapping up the Raiders news, running back Josh Jacobs' traffic case was closed as he completed community service at a boys and girls club and paid a $500 fine stemming from a single car accident that happened back in January. Meanwhile, in sports betting news, the Dallas Cowboys finally locked up their quarterback for the long haul, agreeing with Dak Prescott on a four-year, $160 million deal. The Cowboys are 25-1 to at the Westgate to win the Super Bowl, and Prescott is 18-1 to to be named the NFL MVP. The Cowboys are solid plus 110 favorites to win the NFC East at William Hill, followed by the New York Giants and Washington football team at plus 350, and the Philadelphia Eagles at 4-1. Thanks, Cassie. And your Lifestyle News sponsored by Get Healthy, Clark County. For this St. Patrick's Day, you can do more than wear green to celebrate. Several local restaurants are planning Irish food specials that could pair well with a green beer on this March 17th. Over at Coronado Cafe, you could get some breakfast with steak, eggs, and Irish soda bread. There will also be a three-course dinner available with dark chocolate Guinness cake at Earl Grey Cafe. For more options, check out our website. That concludes our 7 at 7 p.m. newscast from the Las Vegas Review Journal. I'm Jen Ah. Catch us on the RJ Mobile app, Roku TV, YouTube, and so much more. Be sure to watch 7 at 7 a.m. as well. Have a great night. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal.